Hi, welcome to Little Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a weekly reading for this week in October for Pisces. Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising. Please don't take what resonates and leave the rest. It's not your story. Don't try to make it fit. Everything is subject to free will and that of the divine, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Sir, can you please show me Pisces this week of, uh, in October 2021? Show me Pisces, please, this week. What's going on for Pisces? All right. Here we go. Okay. Communications coming in, possibly. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. All right. So there is some form of communication that's coming in that's going to cause you to take action to end a situation. Or you're communicating with someone, possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you're telling them, I almost feels like, I almost want to say ultimatum here um, to end something. Or some form of communication, or you're delivering some form of communication to someone, and it's going to cause an ending. So let's see. we got Scorpio energy here as well. So let's see. One second. Someone also might be communicating with you in a very immature way. Um, you might be, or you might be telling someone to end something with someone. Why is the page of wands? Let's see. Show me these cards, please, Spirit. Show me these cards, please, Spirit. Okay, here we go. Yeah. There's some of abu abusive communication, Pisces. Yeah, someone's taking action to get away of abuse. You or somebody else. Yeah, it's a female. There's a woman here who is leaving um, and ending something because of abuse. Either you are this woman or there is a woman that you are tied to. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, strong Gemini here that might be leaving due to some form of abuse here. There's a painful, painful ending. Taking action to end something. Somebody here also knows the truth or there's somebody that you've been dealing with that knows what you've done or there is a woman here who now sees what a Scorpio was talking about. All right, let's see. All right, what about this next card? There's a very painful ending coming. <clears throat> Either you're causing this ending because you know the secrets here or a Scorpio is ending this with you. Or there's a Gemini who's ending this with you and agreeing with a Scorpio. It was the truth. Let's see. Here we go. So uh, There was a Scorpio that was telling the truth. Yeah. A wife. Somebody here is being abused here. Possibly a wife, which is the same woman here. Yeah. Someone is leaving behind. It's going to cause somebody great despair. There's an abuseful, abused wife here, um, and they're ending it, and it's going to cause the man a lot of despair. You may think that there's a female enemy that's a Scorpio, but it's not true. She has the truth. She knows the truth. Yep. Why something ended. And she's going to be telling this other, this wife, the truth about what happened. I feel like she's going to be, your person's going to be reaching out to a Scorpio to find out the truth. And the truth is, or they're going to be realizing that the Scorpio told the truth the whole time. And you might see this person as an enemy as to the reason why your relationship has ended. Let's see. Um, anything else for my Pisces, please? Anything else for Pisces? Big deal and TikTok. This is a big deal and time's up. Time, time is up. Anything else, please? Mending a relationship and wild card. Yeah. So, yeah, you can't. If you Okay, so if you are married, Pisces, male or female, your gender, gender identity, preference, it doesn't matter. You're married. Okay, I feel like this is for a married person. And your person has given you plenty of time to fix something. Or you've given someone plenty of time to fix something. To mend a relationship here. It's a very big time is of the essence here. The wild card is the truth being exposed. That's the wild card. All right, let me see. Show me the, let's see. Show me a big deal here. Show me a big deal, please. 
Yeah, someone someone retreating from you or you from them is a very big deal. Show me TikTok, please. Yeah, time is up on the devil. Someone's trying to retreat from toxicity here. Capricorn energy, also Gemini energy. Show me mend the relationship, please. Someone's worried about being able to mend the relationship. More Gemini, Aquarius energy. But I don't think it can be mended because it doesn't need to be because there's abuse. Show me wild card, please. Yeah, this is, it's hidden. Whatever this wild card is, is hidden. Is hidden. Let me get one more on that. Show me the moon. What's hidden? A family. There's family secrets here, and that's the wild card. I feel like somebody here, your person, okay, if you're the one who's getting left and divorced because you're abusive, your person is going back to somebody from your past that you were previously married to or with and getting the truth. The wild card is family secrets. Mm -hmm. Or if someone has a secret family. Or someone is keeping these secret secrets from their family. Alright, let's see what other signs you could be dealing with. And then we'll get you some oracle cards. But I feel like, honestly, i got to be honest, it feels like you're the one who's doing this and your person's leaving you. If That's what it feels like. Let's see. What other elements or signs could Pisces be dealing with, please, regarding this reading this week? We have Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Pisces, that's you. Okay. We have two more. We have Aries and we have Sagittarius. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see. All right, so if you're dealing with a Libra, what is Libra's intentions towards Pisces? Libra's intentions towards Pisces. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this person wants to get to know you. Um, Crosswatcher, if you're dealing with a Pisces and you're here watching this, what is their intentions towards you? What is Pisces' intentions towards a Crosswatcher? Pisces' intentions towards the Crosswatcher, please. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So maybe um, there's somebody else, though, it feels like. Let me get one more. Show me Pisces. What's Pisces' intentions towards Crosswatcher? Making the effort. So this person might try to come in. If this Pisces Crosswatcher has been the one who's ab been abusing you, they're going to come in to, to uh, blood bomb you. So be mindful of that. Okay? What is Aries' intentions towards Pisces? Religious factors, okay? Uh, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, Pisces, this person may feel like you're y'all have the same value system or belief systems, possibly. Show me Sagittarius, please. What is their intentions towards Pisces? Sagittarius. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. And we have codependency. Uh, addictions are affecting your love life. Yeah. So, there's that. Let me get something else, too. <clears throat> Let me see. So there's those. Let me get some more other cards real fast. And then we'll get your guidance. Let's see. Alright, so if you're dealing with a Libra, what else? What's brewing for Libra and Pisces? Libra and Pisces, please. What's brewing? Libra and Pisces, please. Bad choices. Okay. There's a bad choice here that's coming between the two of you. Um, Pisces. What's Pisces' intentions towards a cross watcher? Envy. Some this Pisces is very jealous of you, Cross Watcher. Okay. Anything else? With Pisces towards Cross Watcher. Sports. They like pain. They like playing games. Someone is jealous and they like to play a lot of games. Cross Watcher, Pisces, jealous of you and playing games with you. So Aries, if you're dealing with an Aries, what's Aries? Um, what's in between Aries and Pisces? A lot of drama, total drama action. What's between Sagittarius and Pisces? Got two. Family time and parenting. So someone here may have kids. Family could be coming in between the two of you, Pisces, as well as um, maybe different parenting styles or, or um, ideas or skills. Okay? All right, let me get you some guidance. Um, okay. Any 
guidance, please, for a Pisces regarding this reading? Any other guy? Any guidance, please, for the Pisces this week? Any guidance? Um, time to give rather than take. And then you also have work through your fears, Scorpio. So you got Virgo and Scorpio here as well. Anything else for guidance for Pisces this week? Take time to breathe out. Absolutely. Okay. And then let's see. Anything else, please? Any other... Oh, I came out fast. Too, uh, I just feel right. Any other guidance, please, for Pisces this week? And or cross watcher? Obviously, roles can be reversed. Luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Okay. Anything else for Pisces this week? Got two. You got future. And it says, <clears throat> you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits and then planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Okay, so you might be traveling for work as well. Any other guidance, please? Difficult times. You have, be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Yep, and then Crosswatcher, that also could be for you. All right, if you want to get a personal reading with me, uh, I'm just going to say this. Whomever's in the abusive relationship, you need to get out safely and get out now. It's not going to get any better. Go, if you're, if this person's ex, Crosswatcher and or Pisces, is a Scorpio female, you might want to go talk to them, and you're, or you're realizing that the Scorpio was telling the truth about this Pisces, or vice versa, Okay. All right, if you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, take care of yourself until next time. Bye.